And so we see that the contents of the first bowl only had this kind of effect on the people who were rejecting God at this future time. And the second angel shed forth or poured out the contents of his bowl into the sea. And there became, or there happened, blood in comparison to the blood of a dead person. Now, of course, a dead person has no life. So this is as the blood of a lifeless person. It had no life in it. And all or every soul of life, in that soul, of course, refers to um, those physical beings or bodies that have physical life and able to breathe. They have soul life. This would refer to the creatures in the sea that have blood or are being oxygenated by breathing in order to maintain their physical lives. So all or every soul of life that's what allows them to swim in the sea, died. They became dead. They lost their life. They became lifeless. No life in them anymore. Emphatically and specifically, the creatures in the sea. That's the salt water areas. Verse, seven, verse 4. Continuing in verses 4 through 7, John writes, And the third angel shed forth the contents of his bowl into the rivers and the springs. So this third angel poured out the contents of his bowl and it affected the wells or the fountains, which are the sources, the issues of the waters that would be the fresh waters. And there became blood. And I heard the voice or the sound from the angel of the waters. And this is the angel who has authority over the water saying, You are righteous. You are in a just state. The one who is presently and actively being. That's referring to God. The one who used to be. Yes, God was continuing to exist during a past time. And then he says, the Holy God, in case we had any wonderings of who he was referring to. He says, the Holy God. And again, that word holy is referring to the fact that God is pure godliness in action. God does and says exactly what he says. God practices his godliness. So why would he be this way? Because you judged these things. You made your decision. You pronounced sentence in judgment. And of course that sentence comprised of these things being implemented. Because they shed forth the blood of, in other words, they killed those people who had rejected God, had killed the holy people. Those men had killed the sanctified people, those people who at that future time will be holy. And the prophets, they killed the prophets, those people who speak forth God's word concerning the past, present, or future. And you gave blood to them to drink. Yeah. God gave them blood to drink. Who? Those people who rejected God. Those people who shed forth the blood of holy people and God's prophets. So God gave them blood to drink. And they are worthy. Yes, they are of equal value or worth to what? To the sentence of death. Being killed in this manner. They were correctly weighed on the scales as it were and they were deserving of death drinking blood that was their righteous ending state and i heard john said i heard the sound or the voice 
what I heard the sacrificial altar saying yes with affirmation yes Lord God the all strong one true and righteous are your judgments yes God's pronounced sentences his judgments are righteous continuing in verse 8 John continues and says and the fourth angel shed forth or poured out the contents of his bowl down on what on the Sun and it was given for the Sun to be able to scorch the people who continue to re reject God on the earth so it was given to or for the Sun to scorch the people in fire in other words it was burn them from the intense heat and the various rays from the Sun hitting the earth at this time and the men were scorched they received the intense scorching from the Sun at this time and they blasphemed so instead of saying sorry to God they blasphemed they spoke evilly they treated with lack of godly reverential respect what they blasphemed the name of God everything that God represents and stands for that's what the word name means they blasphemed everything that he stands for his power his authority emphatically and specifically the God who has the authority yes God has authority down or upon over these strokes that is being implemented at this time and they did not repent so they were blaspheming the name of God and they did not repent they did not change their minds from bad to good regarding God and the things of God they could see what was happening they could feel it on their skin they were receiving the effects of God's judgment being implemented at this future time and they still did not repent they did not change their mind regarding God and the things of God and say I'm sorry please forgive me they did not repent to give the glory to him they didn't change their mind and they did not give God the glory they didn't give him the importance which was due to God in verse 10 John continues and he says and the fifth angel poured out or shed forth the contents of his bowl where down on the throne of the wild animal of course the throne talks about a high seat representing or designating his kingship his rule the place from which he can execute his authority and we looked at that previously in Revelation chapter 13 verses 1 to 4 because the wild animal receives his throne and authority from the devil the dragon Satan but we see here that the fifth angel shed forth the contents of his bowl down on the throne of the wild animal and its kingdom you know everything in its the wild animals sovereignty its dominion at this time was darkened it was caused to lack or be deprived of light and the people would chew chew their tongues as knowing or biting on their tongues why because of the pain or originating by reason of the pain the stress resulting from pain and they blasphemed the God of the heaven once again they spoke evilly of God 